Welcome back. Uh, telling other people's stories is what my next guest likes to do. He loves to do that. He's Tuan Lam, host of the Tuan Lam Show. Welcome to the broadcast. And it's my boy, Kenny Choi. Good to see Thank you Thank you. Good to it's have you with good us. Good to also be home because, you know, I interned at the assignments desk here in college wow. 20-something years ago. And now and, you're back. And I'm back. Full and circle moment. And you're the host of your own show. Tell yes. us a little bit more about the show. It's, it's very unique. Yeah, well, the cool part about it is that we're inviting everybody to join the magic of conversation that lifts your spirits and shifts your perspective on what's going on in life. So the people that we interview, you might think, oh my gosh, when you Google them, you're like, oh dang, they're on Forbes. Or, oh my God, <laughs> like, wow, they're amazing. But they talk about the zigs, the zags, the ups and the downs in life. And mm -hmm. th that got them to where they got to, yeah. And I know that you love to inspire. You went, uh, you, you worked on this thing called Go Inspire. Yeah, so Go Inspire Go is my nonprofit. I did that after my news job. I was formerly a TV reporter and co-host of a show on PBS called California Heartland. And Go Inspire Go is a place for you to go be inspired by everyday heroes and then be inspired to use your superhero power to help others. And while I was doing that, um, I also discovered my own power. You know, like growing up Asian, yeah. too, I think representation is super important. So me being an Asian male, doing my own show, I think, is big. And kids that sure. see you on TV are like, wow, like I can do that, too. Yeah. Growing up, I didn't have a lot of mentors mm -hmm. or people that I looked up to on TV. And I thought, I love me some Oprah. And I love <laughs> me some LeVar Burton on Reading Rainbow. Right. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I want to do that. You know? And so I ended up doing, manifesting that and doing, uh, you know, co-hosting a show on PBS and also becoming a news reporter. And now this is the next step. And all of that kind of led you to, to hosting this show called The Tuan Lam Show. Yes. Uh, we've got a clip of that show. Let's take a listen. Give it up for the Tuan Lam Show. Here's Tuan Lam. Pressure creates diamonds. Bling, bling, bling. <laughs> Welcome to the Tuan Lam Show. I love it. It's got a lot of energy. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about uh, some of the guests that you guys have, have had on the show so Don't far. Don't you just always want to dance when you hear yeah, that music? I, I like it. Yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay, so Aik Shahade, the, the, so we have six pilot, six pilot episodes and we're ready to launch soon. Um, but Aik Shahade, you might have seen Aik Sandwiches. The day we interviewed him mm -hmm. uh, in January, he opened his 77th sandwich shop. Wow. And he talks about how he was literally homeless living in his car, living then in a warehouse with no electricity. And then he became a bag boy at Trader Joe's, and then he opened his first shop, and la da 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 da, uh -huh. and then he manifested all this amazingness. And in a sense, it's about people overcoming challenges. What's one of the, the biggest challenges that you've had to face as an immigrant who came to this country as a young child? Ooh, that's a really good wow. Um, there's so many. I mean, I think one of the biggest challenges was just seeing myself and my true self because growing up Asian, my parents are Asian and Asian, and I grew up in Sacramento, right? So <laughs> right. my parents were always like, doctor, lawyer, engineer. And I say that with like a lot of love because sure. that's my mom's cute Asian accent, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. English accent. Um, but my mom, would, you know, they always pushed me towards doing something that wasn't really natural to me. So this is about finding the true you, you doing you, boo, and mm -hmm. doing it to the best of your ability and being your true self. Yeah, this is a culmination of all that you've worked towards. Yes, absolutely. And I just want to inspire you to know that no matter what challenge you are going through, that you're not alone and mm -hmm. there is hope. And God knows that like, right now we need hope and inspiring stories and people. Oh my goodness, you sound like an Asian Oprah right now. Oh my God, if I could get a penny for every time somebody <laughs> said that. I just want to be me. And I yeah. want you to you do you, boo, is what yeah. I love to say. Do you, because you can only do you the best. Inspire others. Yes. Love it. All right, yes. Tuan Lam, good to have you yes, on the show. Thank Appreciate you. you. Thank you, Tuan. And be sure to check out Tuan's show on Facebook or Instagram. His handle is at Tuan Lam Show.